Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And that was an amazing conversation with Starboy Terry himself. Yes, that was super dope. And yes, you know, the greatness doesn't stop anytime soon. We keep going, even though we have to go at some point today, right? But it won't stop. And talking about greatness, we have another super duper personality with us in the studio. He goes by the name Oluwashi. Our oh, names Oluwashi Egon Real Fair. Koshemani was born in 1984 on the 26th of August in the city of Lagos. He attended the University of Lagos. In 2014, he became communication strategy consultant for the Presidential Jobs Board under President Goodluck Jonathan. He, he, worked, he worked on the software development until New York Code and Design Academy gave him an opportunity to sit in their coding Kickstarter classes and in 2016 2017 um, in the year 2016 2017 i mean the 2020 pandemic allowed lamy just like many others to see beyond the ordinary and now we have used and they have now used the very reliable blockchain technology to birth bots make cash a decentralized finance cryptocurrency digital assets and payments company it will be recalled that the central bank of nigeria announced a sweeping ban on cryptocurrency purchase and trading in the country. The crypto ban was announced in the now deleted circular date dated February 5th, 2021. The circular, which bears the insignia of the CBN and signatures of two of its top officials, orders regulated financial institutions to identify people and organizations trading in crypto and close their accounts immediately. It, and they say it threatens severe regulatory actions of financial institutions that refuse to cooperate. And ladies and gentlemen, you know, to discuss this and talk about more is Lamy himself. Good morning, my brother. How are you Good doing? Good morning, my people. You have such a, a wonderful way of hyping. Your, <laughs> your yes, it does. It's, 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 it's not me, man. It's just who you are. You just ah, don't believe see, in you. Again, you hyping, see? more it's hyping. Just, it's just say. who you are because I didn't read all of this things because I came up with them. It's just you. It's all you, bro. It's a compliment. I'll say thank you. <laughs> yes, you're welcome. <laughs> anyway, um, obviously, there's a lot of people that were moved by what the CBN uh, announced. And I think there were two categories. The people who knew exactly what that meant and people who had no idea. So people were just saying, what's, what's Bitcoin? And why are we making noise? I know it's paining some people, so I also shout. Most people didn't actually have an idea. But that's why we have someone like you. So if you can just do like a quick summary of what that means, actually. Like, why did the um, CBN block the the Bitcoin? I don't. I, I know it's not even Bitcoin. Cryptocurrency world. And what does that mean for the average Nigerian that is concerned with that? Uh, I'm going to be very lenient because, mm. um, you know, I, of, on this side, I am directly affected. Yes. Mm. So um, I'm not going to be emotional. No. And, uh, but I'll try to be very nice. Mm -hmm. let's, let's start from the definition of Bitcoin. Mm. Bitcoin is a virtual currency. Uh, it can be used for peer-to-peer -peer, uh, transaction or mm. just say payments mm. sitting on blockchain. Blockchain mm. can be used for several things, you know, mm. uh, on other traded ledger. Right. Um, Bitcoin is currently the sixth most accepted currency in the world. Mm -hmm. The market capitalization of Bitcoin is at 700 and something billion US dollars. Put together all Nigerian banks. Mm. I'm sure uh, you may not be able to get that. Mm. Bitcoin is less than 13, 14 years old. Right. Uh, Bitcoin market capitalization that I just mentioned is way larger than J.P. Morgan Chase, uh, China Agricultural Bank, mm -hmm. et cetera, banks of the world. Bigger than five top biggest, biggest banks of the world. Right. Uh, countries like uh, the UK is beginning to look at how they can create their own cryptocurrency mm -hmm. and start to accept payments. Uh, the Ukraine is looking at how they can start to accept tax payments mm -hmm. uh, uh, with Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Right. Uh, I'm aware that Iran of course, they have trade issues with USA, so they really relied on Bitcoin for trades. Mm. Uh, the government of Iran have invested to uh, amass about 45,000 mining uh, technology mm. machines for Bitcoin. Okay, so what does that uh, mean for Nigeria? It, and that's, that's an holistic information yeah. I just gave. Mm. And what that means is we are shutting the door on major revenue mm. Uh, mm. that's supposed to be increasing um, of GDP for us in mm, this country. Right. When a, a CBN, what you should rather have done is uh, you accept Naira, you accept pounds, you accept mm, dollar. Mm. 
technology is always ahead of revelation. Yeah. So this is a new innovation, just mm. like internet came to pipe low the hustle of right. TV, right. like TV did to radio, mm. like radio did to print. Mm. Okay, so, this is digital money. Mm. Is central bank digital money really digital currency? No, mm. the true digital currency it is crypto, and Bitcoin is at the top of the food chain. Come around the guys doing Bitcoin, just like we support the banks. We're ready to support you. Can you explain the nitty gritty to us? Um, now you have altered the businesses, mm. the livelihood of so many young Nigerians. Mm. The five percent on top of the food chain, the elderly ones at 65 years old upward, so, are beating down the hustle of 95 percent population uh, of you and I. I'm curious right now because you know a lot of people had money in the big Bitcoin accounts and stuff like that. Yeah. And now that you're saying don't trade, what are they going to do? Are they opening the doors to international market? Are people going to have to? leave the shores of this country or get somebody else an agent that will trade for them outside the country because they will be the um, biggest loser of this that's that's you know we can go all and all on and on mm -hmm. all in all out um for us at bought me cash usually uh, because we have integrated with one of the licensed uh, banks, providers that have now mm. been yanked off mm. because of their virtual account numbers, it was easy for anybody to sign up to bot me cash and buy Bitcoin for the first time right. with Naira. Mm. But guess what? Now, what you have done is I will have to jet out to Kenya, Botswana, mm. or mm. partner with an mm. international company and say, Oh, so I convert Bitcoin now to those foreign currencies. Mm. What that means is you're going to be losing all that money that's coming your way. All that money that you would have used to really boost the economy. Okay. They're going to be, I, I you know, really wish we had more time. I yeah. think we may have to bring you back here okay. sometime this week, you know, to elaborate a little bit more on, you know, this industry because a lot of people don't know it. Because I saw an advert yesterday that said, if you start saying Bitcoin on Lecky Expressway, then it's time to buy. So I think a lot of people <laughs> still don't buy from know bought me cash. Yeah, about <laughs> It. So I think okay. we're going to bring you back, you know, to elaborate more on this. But thank you very much for shedding light on this, you know, it's okay. disturbing news we've had since Friday. Oh, but it's still a few of us are affected. Mm. But yeah. yeah, it's still interesting, right? Yes, yeah, and absolutely. I like. I think what I really got from your interview was when you said that regulation is not bigger than um, uh, innovation. They can't technology. stop Bitcoin. I mean, yeah. the trades are still continuing. Yeah. I mean, people are doing transactions on our platform today. I'm sure by now we would have traded over fifty thousand dollars worth there of Bitcoin. You there you go. Yeah. So yes, you know, we, now you know where. Naira they miss. <laughs> <laughs> now you know where to tune to. But thank you very much for yeah. watching. You can join the conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on our previous episodes, including this one and all our exclusive contents by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Outer TV and in London, of course, on Ben Television. A big thank you goes out to my co-anchors, Ifeolua Omai and Enio Lakopola, and of course, our guest, Fumbi Ogumbawo and um, Lami and of course, Starboy Terry and the entire production team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Ife Oshunkeye.